Okay, now I still got my house way too yellow, so. No. Okay, I'm just going to try white on it. Well, actually, it's a very light pink. You know what, I'm going to lie a little bit and make that window a little shorter right there. Just so it's not just lined up with the tree so much. And I think I should do one more something in my sky. It's so blue, but I'm going to add this little bit of green right now. Greenish blue. And, um, and see what happens if I can come back over that after I spray it. <sighs> that dang corner. All right, <clears throat> I tell you what, it's so confusing. I'm so confused. So I'm just going to try to make the colors better than I've started. Well, I just feel like, as usual, I don't have enough of the right colors, right? And I do try to make the, um, I try to make the colors of the flowers. I, I don't fool around with that. I'm not going to start an, a purple flower orange or something. I'm going to, you know, keep it pretty, just pretty, pretty much in the color family it is. In some ways, I think it's it's more fun to paint. Whoops! It's more fun to paint things that are kind of dull in color because um, because you can fool around with it more. Like the color of the house, that's a pretty interesting thing because you know I don't I don't know I don't know what color that is. I have to keep experimenting with it. Whereas the color of the flowers is pretty straight up purple, pink. All right, still trying to get the trees better. And got some drawing problems here with that window. <clears throat> And I think maybe I should let that trunk come down a little more into there. Pink in here, good there. Okay, 
pretty much the same. I tell you, these, um, these guys, these elephant ears, they're like about the only real structure in the garden. So, um, I don't know. I just want to be sure they do their job. Uh, maybe I could... Got some other flowers back here. All right, I think it's time to spray it. Oh, well, one more thing. I don't want to tear the paper off this. Um, Pastel and break it. Well, it broke anyway, so I guess I'll have to. I'm just afraid I'll lose it. And this really dark green. And there are a few places of white green up there, and this is not right. That tree is really dark all the way to the top. All right, and there are a few light places of green up there in those branches. So I'll just see if I'm going to like it or not. Or if I just want them. I think I'm probably going to want them all dark, but I'll come back to that. And um, I just need a little more something going on down in there. Okay. I really like the red paper, but at some point it starts to kind of bug me. But I need to get it all covered up so I can compare my colors more accurately. I uh, sprayed it, <clears throat> and I, I think I, I just have to do a little redrawing. Um, like on these trees. thing about trying to have the trees drawn right is the window placements and everything else <clears throat> kind of depend on the trees being in the right place. And even, you know, some places maybe it just seems like I'm just going over the lines that were there, but um, I just, I, it helps me to know where. To know, just to restate it so I can, even if I'm not changing it a terrific amount. Another problem with these vertical lines, if you get one crooked, then um, you'll compare the other ones to it, and then 
they'll all be crooked, <laughs> um, which is kind of a bummer. It's a really a bummer when you go to frame because that's when you can really see that um, that your your vertical lines aren't straight. Or if in the case of like a vase or something, that it's not you know it's not the the center line is not parallel to the edge of the paper. The center line of the vase. Whoa. It's really stupid, but all my rulers, every single ruler I own is packed up right now for my perspective class out in the car, and I just don't want to go get one. So talk about lazy. All right, and this, I don't want that flower to be so lined up with that window, so I'm going to just move it a little bit. This is really hard to get this thing. This roof line connected. And I, I let it the tree end right which is inaccurate. I let the tree end right there. So I need I want a little space between the edge of my tree and the edge of my roof. Yeah, take your pick of which line that's supposed to be. And this is the line at the center of the roof, and then this goes back from here. Oops, from here, I mean. <coughs> Well, about now, I'm wishing I'd done a better job drawing the roof, but uh, at the time, I thought I had done a good job. All right, so I'm going to go back and start with the sky again, and I just want to get it bluer. And um, now that I've sprayed it, I can I can cut into those or get rid of any of those leaves I don't want up there. Whoa. Okay, who knows? Okay, I think that's better. I like it better.
think I'm recording. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to come back on the house and stuff, and I'm going to try to get those colors um, more, well, basically dull, more like they, you know, like right now I've got it kind of painted like I would paint it if there were no flowers in the picture, but I, I have all these flowers. I need them to really stand out. So I, I need the roof to not be quite so um, brilliant colors. <clears throat> so like even my shadows, my shadows are too, are too, I'm, I've got to put this one back in with a purple, but um, Even my shadows are a little too, you know, too um, intense so, in color. So I'm going to do something about them too. I hope. I feel like, you know, that um, nature is so infinite and we're just, we have this, um, we have a very finite set of colors that we're working with, no matter how many we have. There's a, a, a huge number of combinations you can do, but, um, but it's, it just, I don't think it even comes close to what nature is up to. So... You just have to, um, you have to compare and relate things to each other and make choices. You know, I'm talking about it right now, but it's, it's not usually something I'm consciously thinking about. What I'm trying to do is look at everywhere as I paint and, um, and look and everywhere, back and forth, not focusing too long and too much on any one um, area. And hopefully, you know, I don't really, hopefully, the, the theory is that I don't have to know anything. All I have to do is, is get better and better at observation and then compare these things. And then I'll see when I look quickly from here to here or from here to here that, that my roof was way too orange and that my building is too, um, you know, too yellowy. Or, yeah, too yellowy. And, um, I don't know, it's a little bit of a lie. I figured if the sun was hitting really strong here, then I could kind of mimic that there. And then here on this side of the house, maybe, maybe I can make the light just a little less strong. That. I just want to say it right out loud. That that was not what I hoped. So. You know, I think I'm going to take that window out right there too. It's just, I don't know. It's just too much going on right in that one place, and I just can't make it work. <clears throat> oh, okay. 
Okay, so the trees. I thought that was such a dark color that I'd be able to use it for the shadows on the trees and then it turned out to be so light that I had to use it for the light on the trees. Okay, so now I've got to find something that really is in fact dark. No, not really. A lot of times I feel like, you know, I come back and I start to work on something again and it's like, I just keep making it worse. And, um, yeah, I hate that, but it, it just is kind of something that seems like it happens. Especially if some time has gone by, like a few days. <clears throat> yeah, too many broken pieces that are all the same colors. It's like, I don't really want to do any, I mean, I could do something about it now, but I don't really want to. All right, well, I'm just going to leave the trees for now. something for those trees. I was trying to make a little feeling of a half tone. have such a hard edge between the light and the shadow on the trees. Okay, well, I feel a little happier about those trees now. God bless America. You know, this is, I think I should just know when I start dropping stuff, it's because I'm too cold. Okay, flowers. <clears throat> I 
That was absolutely not one thing like what I thought it was going to be. So I guess the idea with flowers, I don't even know. They're sort of so little that... But I, I guess the thing would be that I, I would hope that maybe what I could do is, I mean, what else could they be, right? Here they are in the garden. It's obviously a garden. But I was hoping that I can, just with a few flowers, I could really show that they're all flowers instead of having to try to paint every one. But um, for now, and probably even until I'm ready to spray again, I, I don't think they're going to. They're going to make much progress in looking like fl real flowers. Okay, that green stuff behind there. Probably exactly the same value, but that's okay. I'll just add it in. I thought it was going to be the light on those guys, but it wasn't. All right, now I'm going to find something lighter for sure. Huh, not much lighter. some really bright greens maybe it's kind of the same thing like maybe you know some usually I would use some yellows in my really bright greens but I need the yellows to be the the flowers
It's like, okay, well, there's one cosmos over there, so now there's like 15. And some of these are supposed to be elephant ears. Anyhow, like this pastel, I, I don't know what exactly is not right about it, but I just, I don't know. I, it feels funny. feels like it's hard to make good marks with it. really love this thing like I'm doing now where I'm pressing a little harder on the the end of it than in the middle of the pastel so it makes a hard edge but then a feathered edge <clears throat> Ooh, that shadow color on the building. Just all of that. It's, you know, the thing is, I probably, if I, I think I'm probably going to have want to work on it again. And um, before I do, I'll, I'll draw it when I'm not filming so I can be like really just right in front of it and um, hopefully get this drawing a little better. This, this is my very favorite color in the whole picture because I guess maybe because I'm having the hardest time with it.
Yeah, I hate that side of the building. It's like I, I feel like I tried to make something up and so hopefully I'll remember to look at the picture, the actual photograph and see if I can tell what the heck is going on. In the meantime, I think I'll just cover up that with some greenery stuff. And any time you see a line like this where the lower line is angled more than the upper line, then you know you've got a problem. So that line has to come up. All right, and like places like that where it's all too much the same, the green is all too much the same, the flowers are too much the same. I just need to come in and break it up some more. I would really like to make those, um, these little guys look right, but... Whoa, <laughs> okay. I can't uh, at all tell where my marks are going to end up. I got to find something else. There's a smaller one. to myself. Okay, you know what those need? They need some stems. Man, I missed it by a quarter inch. That was really funny. Oh, an eighth of an inch. Okay, I like those stems. Now I want to have some leaves that kind of look leafy in here.
Yeah, I lost that green. There it is, I think. All right, let's try to do something about that house color back there. Something that is not that. Nor that. Oh, golly, maybe maybe there, if there's that much light on the house, there probably has to be some light on the, these bushes right here. Like that, something like that. Okay, so um, I'm going to quit for now. But it's... I, I don't know what I'm going to do next, if I'm going to work on it again while I'm filming or... Maybe work on it without filming or redraw without filming. I'm definitely going to look at the picture closer and try to see what's going on back there. And try to get my drawing cleaned up and all before before I finish it. All right. Thank you so much.